This is Ethan Tapper, the Chittenden County Forester, out here at the Maple Shade Town Forest in Westford. Now what we're doing today is some forest stand improvement work uh, in the areas that were cut here last winter. Now one of the things that's really tricky about uh, doing forest management and using logging as a tool is that it places it in this commercial context. So the work that we do, the trees that we cut, they have to pay for themselves and they have to be worth the logger's time to cut. One problem with this is that there will always be trees that are too small, too unhealthy, not valuable enough, and that the logger won't want to cut, but that we might want to cut to fulfill our objectives for how we want to manage this area. They could be small beech trees that are forming a monoculture in the understory of the forest. They could be unhealthy trees that are just not worth the logger's time to cut. In the case of this area at the Maple Shade Town Forest, these are trees that uh, are small, that are really unhealthy, and that once they're sort of cut down by the logger and pulled out to the landing, they essentially have no value or even negative value uh, to the town and also to the logger. And so what we're doing here today is cutting some of these trees and also girdling them uh, to get the stand to where we want it to be moving forward. <laughs> While as a landowner, you might want to go into the forest after the logger has gone and some of those smaller diameter hardwood trees, say, that might not have been worth the logger's while, might be worth your while as a piece of firewood that you pull out with your tractor or an ATV or something like that. But for the most part, these are trees that we're just going to cut and leave on the ground. Uh, and if you cut trees and leave, in, leave them on the ground and you don't try to pull them out, you'll see that your time is a lot more efficient. So you can cut a lot more trees. You don't have to fuss around with getting them hitched up to the tractor and pulling them in and getting them off to wherever you're gonna process them into firewood. Now, besides getting your forest into a better place following logging, doing this sort of forest stand improvement after a logging project can also meet some of our other objectives that we wanted to manage this forest for. So it can cause even more dead wood to be left on the forest floor, which is great. It can cause the forest to be even messier, create more little micro habitats for all different kinds of critters, uh, create a, an area that is harder for deer to get into, so you might have some seedlings coming up through this mess that are protected from deer browse. And so just coming back here and spending a few hours after a logging job, just putting unhealthy trees on the ground, doing some understory improvement work, maybe thinning around some nice young sugar maples that we want to see grow or other species that we want to encourage, makes a huge difference going forward in the future of this forest. 